Uh, Brooks Atkinson, legendary theater critic, called it, must have been having a myopic day here, a preposterous allegory signifying something portentous about the vulnerability of human beings, which most good plays do again, I would think. Philip Roth called this play a homosexual daydream. No idea what that even means. I have no idea either. Seems like kind of a dick. What a dick thing to say. Yeah, but, but, but Philip used to see gays everywhere. <laughs> And your friend, Samuel Beckett, read this play. He said, I didn't much like it, but I'm too tired and stupid perhaps to get it. She'll have another Boy, Samuel a, Beckett. What a foot down that is. Or, or an enormous compliment. Why would anybody give Sam Beckett Tiny Alice to read? I, thought, I figured you'd give it to him to read. No. He wrote me nice letters about some of my plays. No, I'm sure. Yeah. He liked some. <laughs> I think he liked this one too. I think he was confused by it, which is a compliment. I think a lot of people were well, confused. Apparently, I was too. <laughs>